Okay, so in this video, I want to go ahead and talk about GED online classes. And uh, the way I want to talk about this topic is in three um, parts. So the first one is I want to give you kind of uh, some warnings about what's out there. So some things to watch out for. Uh, the second thing is I like to uh, talk about where you can find one, uh, one that you can actually trust and would be a, a benefit to you. And then the last thing we'll talk about real quick is, do you uh, need one? Do you actually need to take an online class to, uh, to pass a GED? And, um, and some suggestions to consider uh, you know, when you're studying for the GED. So the first one is you got to really watch out. And this is probably the most critical out of um, the, uh, the items that I want to talk about in this video. If you do like an online Google search GED online classes, you're going to come up with... Um, a variety of different, uh, you know, websites like any kind of Google search. Uh, now, some of these um, schools or classes are going to offer various things. Some of them are going to offer high school diplomas quickly or uh, GED um, uh, programs that get you through quickly. They're, you know, they're designed to kind of play on your sense of urgency or your, you know, the desire to get your GED quickly. Let's face it, the, probably the majority of people that are looking to get their GED, or and this applies to other tests like the the HiSET or the TASC, you know, you're looking to, you know, you're not looking to go back to school forever. You know, you're <laughs> for the most part, you, you know, you may want to go back to school for the long run, but but there's probably a sense of urgency, like, hey, I need this GED, I need a, I need it for my job, I need it for this um, school I'm trying to apply for. So you are already in a kind of psychological state of, um, you know, being to, to be able to be manipulated, if you will, right? You know, that's how marketing works. You know, if you're, uh, you know, in a certain, if you have a certain need or pain, you know, they're going to market towards that. So there's a lot of schools out there, and, uh, and I'm not going to knock their, their validity, if you will. Um, but there are schools that are going to play on those fears and one, you're going to end up potentially paying a lot of money, but even more importantly, you may end up getting into a program, uh, that is in the end, not going to get you what you want, which is an actual bona fide GED. Um, especially you need to watch out for like high school diploma programs like say, hey, why get your GED when you can get a high school diploma, et cetera. So you got to watch, you got to be very, very careful. You got to watch out, okay? And you need to do research on anybody that you're going to particularly maybe enroll with any school. Now, my uh, suggestion, I've done another, pre another video on this, is uh, you need to go to the Department of Education website in your state. So, for example, let's say you're in Florida, you just look for Florida Department of Education, and then look for like GED or adult education. This is critical. You have to start there, okay? Because th that's that. Remember, the the states are the ones that are going to actually issue, um, you know, your, either your um, high school diploma um, or certificate for the GED. So if you start there, they're going to go ahead and tell you who's approved and who's not approved. And, you know, you could actually even call them and say, hey, listen, I'm considering doing this program with, with this program, um, this online class for my GED. Would, you know, uh, is that an, an approved institution? Is it accredited? You know, um, so you have to ch you, de you have to check. Like there's no even option here. OK, if not, you're going to you could potentially end up getting going through paying a lot of money getting a, um, you know, what you think is a GED, okay, or a high school diploma that is not going to um, be valid, if you will, okay, you're going to end up applying to a school or some institution, and I can tell you right now, uh, I know folks in the industry that, uh, in, in the educational industry, uh, you know, in the public and uh, nonprofit uh, that hey, you know, not every single diploma that you that these uh, all these schools are issuing is going to be accepted. Okay, it's a big problem. Matter of fact, um, there's uh, some uh, you know criminal activity, if you will, behind it. it's not 
you know, you're getting kind of scammed, right? So there, there's issues out there, but like anything else, it's buyer beware, okay? So you have to watch out. It's your responsibility, you alone, okay? Don't just sign up. So hopefully you're, you're watching this video before you're, you're in a class. Now, if you're in a particular online program, you could, it could be fine for you, but you still need to follow up. Okay, I'm not saying to drop out of it, all right? But you do, you need to go to the Department of Education uh, in your state and to, to, to check on that. And also, I would re recommend that if you're going to be applying for a particular, say, school or um, whatever the whatever institution you might be, you know, needing your GED for or diploma for, ask them, hey, listen, I'm doing my program with uh, – with this school, is this going to be an accredited, um, uh, you know, uh, diploma, or you know, is, is this is this an accredited institution, or is this one that you recommend? Okay. Anyways, so that's the first thing. So the next thing is where to find online classes. Well, you can find them anywhere. I mean, pretty much like if you go on Google. Um, you can, you know, you'll find a million of them. Of course, you can, you know, so let's just put Google here. You could find uh, find a ton. And then, obviously, you go to your State Department of Education uh, websites, and they're going to give you all types of information. Um, and a lot of the stuff is uh, free, okay? But the key is not where do, you, where do you find one, is where do you find one that's actually, you know, bona fide, one that's acc accredited, okay? So you got a ton of different um, uh, options here. Um, I would also stress that you should be seeking free programs, okay, um, or things that, that cost a modest amount. You shouldn't have to be paying in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, to, uh, you know, to be taking an online class. Now, you might be... You might be paying a few hundred dollars. I think that might be reasonable if you're, you know, in an actual educational setting. But uh, I guess what I'm getting at is that you could, there's a lot of other free options out there. Okay, so if you can't afford spending the money, and you might get value out of that, you know, um, uh, if you can't afford that, go for like, you know, try to find lower cost programs. A lot of these, also, once again, you can find through your you know, like a local um, uh, school district. You know, uh, you got to get you got to get connected with your, your your state. OK, just call them up and say, hey, listen, I live here You know, I'm trying to find some GD uh, prep courses, you know, and you'll get you'll find a lot of different options. OK, so it brings me to my last point. Do you actually need to take a uh, GD online uh, class? Do you actually need it? Well, remember, the GED test is uh, the official GED test is going to be administered at a GED, at an official GED test center, okay? And it's, uh, the GED test is developed by uh, Pearson. So these online classes here, this is just really just prep, okay? It's, it's study and preparation, okay? So really what it comes down to is, um, is can you study or prepare on your own? That's really what it comes down to, or do you, are you kind of the person that needs to be in some sort of formal class? Now, the age of the Internet, and uh, there's so many different options out there. I would look at it this way. I think you have to give yourself an assessment of the different uh, uh, topics for the GED, whether it be science, you know, math, etc., and see which one of these topics, you know, you're going to really struggle in, okay? More often, most uh, the, the number one subject by far that people have a tough time with with the GED is math, and it's just, you know, math is uh, typically just, you know, tough for a lot of people. Um, and your science is a little bit easier um, than other stuff you can kind of read. But math requires you uh, to you know, build up a lot of different skills. So do you need to be in an actual, quote, GED online class? No, not necessarily. You can you can prepare, you know, by taking a pre-algebra class or algebra one class. There's all kinds of different ways you can prepare um you know, it's just, are you kind of creative enough to find good study material? Um, I would also set, uh, suggest that you get a good GED um, prep book, a study guide. Um, you can go to GED.com, which I believe is a, the official GED uh, uh, testing um, website. Um, start there. Get as much free material as you can. And then kind of take inventory of what, you know, what you do need to kind of really immerse yourself in. Of course, you're going to have to study all this material. But I tell you, the one thing I would suggest, uh, my background is in mathematics, is the math uh, part of the GED is going to require you to have 
is to really study. And this is where you would definitely benefit from a class or instruction from a teacher. Okay. Now, do you need to be in an, enrolled in a particular class? No. Once again, you know, you have to consider your options and, 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 and see what works for you. But, um, um, you don't have to just say, Hey, listen, blindly, I'm going to go sign up for a whole GED online school, you know, uh, so I can get my GED. You have to be smart. You know, yeah, you're an adult, you know, if you're listening to this, you know, I'm assuming that you're an adult, so you, you have to watch out for yourself. Okay. So do your research. Okay. And, uh, kind of develop a customized plan of action where you can get your GD and or um, high school diploma. And that's another thing too. If you're saying that, if you're thinking that the GED is your only option, well, not necessarily. When you go to your state department of education, you may be able to kind of um, go for an adult uh, high school diploma, which I think in you know uh, the majority of the cases would be more beneficial to you, uh, especially if you're considering wanting to do classes. So if you're already of the mindset that, hey, I want to do classes, even online classes, you may have an online official school that's run through your state, okay? So <clears throat> do your research. Now, let me go ahead and leave you with uh, my, um, I run gedmathlessons.com. I've developed that. Now, once again, this is not a GED school, nothing like this. This is simply math prep, okay? It's math instruction to help you prepare for the GED, okay? It's uh, it's my fr uh, free video course that's been out there for years. It's been highly successful. A lot of people have gone through it. I've gotten a lot of uh, personal satisfaction from the stories I've he of, um, heard. I didn't, at the time I made this um, uh, site, I felt that there, uh, as a math teacher, I know for a fact that you know, students truly need a lot of math, good math instruction, and a lot of, uh, you know, um, demonstrated problems. And when the GED uh, changes in 2014 came out, you know, it was apparent to me that, you know, you know, people are not going to be able to <laughs> kind of cheat uh, their way through the GED. You actually have to learn some math. So I think that's a good thing. And I felt compelled to kind of construct a um, kind of a solid, you know, uh, math course to help people study. And they've been using this for years with success. So, um, you know, it's uh encouraged me to even do more to try to reach out and speak to people about, you know, on getting their GED or, and or uh, high school diploma. But once again, I don't issue the GED. And there's nothing like that. This is simply a resource that's kind of focused on teaching you the skills for, for math. So I would invite you to come on over. I'll leave the link in uh, the description of this video. But I do a lot of this stuff on YouTube, trying to give you good advice, uh, little tutorials. So, you know, hopefully you'll subscribe. <clears throat> um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Uh, leave me a comment uh, so I can continue to try to help you uh, get better. But anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day.